what's up it's your boy gabe and it's shannon and you're watching shabe tv well today is a great day and it's going to be a great episode as well because you're watching the first episode of our new series entitled the shabe room gray couch talk mm-hmm. isn't that exciting babe it is it is i'm excited it is. uh so yes on the shabe room gray couch talk we'll be talking about um a couple of things uh one unpopular opinions or you know not that many controversial topics like we don't want to go into um you know like already huge topics uh you know like from celebrities and what's going on around the world because there is already enough light being shined upon that and we're we're not really about that we just want to shed positive energy in this circle it's just positivity um so we'll just be sharing things that we literally talk about all the time and we're always like wait it's it'd be good for us to like sit down and discuss these things so yeah that's what we're here to do today um our first episode is actually going to be on premarital counseling Mm -hmm. and premarital counseling Um, One, we have our experience with it, Mm -hmm. so um, it's also a great topic to talk about, um, because here, here, here's the thing, not, I don't, personally, I don't think a lot of couples actually do that, Mm -hmm. right, not, not to, you know, um, there's, there's actually many couples, or like some couples that do that, but I feel like um, when we bring out marital or premarital counseling, to you know some couples or to other people um you know they kind of shy away from that or i would say quote unquote get scared yeah um but there's also people who we've talked to talk to about it who've like basically turned their nose up toward it like Mm. just like a flat out no so there's that too right so um let's let's talk about experience how did you um how did you feel when we um, first got our like our first premarital uh, session? So our first premarital session was actually via Zoom. Oh yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> so it was like fresh quarantine, the Zoom era when everything was live and everything was like ugh, Zoom oriented. Right. So um. We didn't get that first, like, meet in person, Mm -hmm. but it was such a great call. Um, I didn't know our our counselor beforehand, but Gabriel knew him, and it didn't, like, cause him to, like, have, like, a side or anything. We were able to talk to him and just, like, just get to know him as, as well as he got to know us. Um, I was scared at first because I didn't know what to expect Mm. as much as I really wanted to do it because I did want to do it I really did but I know with premarital counseling you will find things out about the next person which is not horrible it's not yeah it's just sometimes you don't realize it's not just about the other person you find things out about your Mm. own self so even in that first um, meeting I found things out about my own self that I'm just like, okay, wow. But um, our experience going forward, the next one didn't come, like, right after. Yeah, like, we had pretty much, like, what, a two-week gap or... Or, like, a month or something, a month and a half. Yeah, a month and a half gap. Or more, because this this quarantine was all over the place. Yeah, plus, um, um, Bishop was, was, he was busy with a lot more... Yeah, uh, people. But um, we um, we appreciate him because he did make the time for us. Mm-hmm. That's one thing. Um, he he made uh, a lot of time with us. We we, we basically he 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 set the point straight. He's like, marriage is not difficult. It'll only be difficult if you know you 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 make it that way, right? Like, there's no there should be no issue with being able to to know to do this or to to lower lower yourself sorry sometimes and 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 all that so um yeah again um based pretty much because the person that 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 i am um again i my view or 
or like my my kind of saying is that I have nothing to lose that everybody knows that I say that like I have nothing to lose if I do this or do that so that's pretty much my approach mm-hmm. to um, like how I, I treat you and or like how I look at things um, like uh, again like for premarital counseling I think I'll be honest like probably like, when we started we weren't really looking like at it like focused mm-hmm. until you know we tried doing it on our own and saw that okay it's not possible like, yeah right, um, like even the bible says that um like, you know find your mentors and, uh, and and counselors and all that and take up uh, you know from their, their wisdom and knowledge and understanding and all of that right mm-hmm. so when um when we finally got our, our first counseling I was I was really open to uh, to the uh, to the idea right so um, I found out a lot of stuff about me too because um I, I, I like I knew my answers like we did a whole questionnaire and, and everything which was uh, which was great but I we still have yet to go over yeah we still have yet to get it. it's a long question it is a hundred questions <laughs> <laughs> all right um but yeah like even even for the questionnaire like the the questions were really they're really open like i think when people you know look at um premarital uh counseling and all that they really think like it's you know like judgy or you know like harsh questions yeah and, and all but like even some of the questions that was in there, um, it was it was pretty simple. Like what was what was one of the questions again? It went based. It had like um, like different headings. There was family. Mm. There was faith. There was so finances, of course. Finances. There was sex. Mm, there the, was. Um, there was a uh, uh, in laws. Yeah. Um, so it literally covered things. I think there was more, but like again, it was a long questionnaire. Mm. Um, but each question really made you think. Yeah. Like it gave you an opportunity to be like, okay, you, you have to think about this because it's gonna come up. Yeah. And I I remember I finished the questionnaire before Gabriel, but I never felt confident in some of my answers, so I had to go back and I'm just like, okay, like think think as a wife. And, like, not right now. Don't think of yourself as a fiancé. Think of yourself as a wife. Like, when it spoke about even being humble. So, like, humility. um, And, like, serving one another. That's not a bad thing. Like, I will take an example of what, like, of now. Mm. Like, if you're you're literally sitting at at our counter, at our bar, and... You want me to warm something for you. Like, today I told you to warm it because mm. my hands were full. Yeah. But, like, before I'd have been like, Gabriel, your hands are not broken. Mm. Like, that's the kind of mindset I had, which I know was wrong. But, like, after that questionnaire, I literally changed my mindset. And I'm like, but as a wife, if I'm not willing to serve my husband, then there's literally no point. Mm. I'm not a slave. And, like, that's another thing about, like being humble and being right. submissive doesn't mean I'm a slave. And on the on the male side, um having that um like I'll say that that respect or that position uh does not mean that, you know, you you can't do anything or like she or like you're you're under or um, yeah. or below me. Right? Um I personally could have easily gotten up and went and warmed the food up, <laughs> Right? But you know, you're you're closer, and I, if I didn't see that you're you're busy, I would have uh, I would have done it myself. Yeah. Right. Um. But it just first of all, your honesty when you um, responded to me, I appreciated that more mm-hmm. than than you probably you know getting the plane and warming it up. Yeah. Because you know you have the guts to be like, hey, I'm a bit busy, right? And that's completely fine with yeah. me. Right, so those are like some sort of like scenarios and and like even some topics and questions that our bishop was like hitting us with. Yeah. And made us realize that we would respond that way. And again, we didn't see anything wrong with that. We got a pretty good rating for like almost all of our questions. 
he it's crazy because even with the questionnaire we didn't get our questionnaires back until our last session mm. our last session oh my god like i think we should go through the sessions like if we remember no we don't remember everything but week by week we did different sessions like getting closer to the wedding i think we had seven weeks mm. of um counseling and each week it was just something different and something more exciting and he'd like he'd get so excited to just have us in the office with him he, he was so fun <laughs> he was so fun yeah because first uh first of all um he put aside the fact that he was um uh our bishop but he came into the mode of you know like a big brother mm-hmm. right like especially already to me like he's like my older big brother but to take us you know together and you know have that that position that made it even easier and and then helpful as well yeah so um yeah we i appreciate him a lot for that um it was really yeah. good um so like some weeks we talk about i think the first week we met in person we spoke about uh, finances mm. and like the pool. Like, do we plan on um, if we plan on combining our finances or if we plan on having things separate? Mm. He never like he always recommended things, but he never once said this is what you have to do. Yeah, that's one thing I loved about it. He always said, you know what, I recommend this, but I'm never gonna tell you what to do. If this is where you see where you want to go. Then but that's no go that way. Yeah. But like because he, he, he knew the truth, like he, he has experience and all that, he would say, Fam, I leave you know, legally, you know, I, I should tell you, you know, you have these mm-hmm. three options, but I'm telling you right now, do this and your life will be amazing. Mm-hmm. Right. So again, just just the just the straightforward answers from yeah. him were, were really, really great as well. Um, it was fun because also he made it fun and he made it um he just made it easier and it's crazy because he said that for us as well and again you're not supposed to talk about like everything we talk about is confidential and everyone in a in a session but um like he would like make reference to his other clients or like his other couples that he'd counsel and he's like with without like giving yeah all like their without information names or, or anything but he or would whatever. just like briefly say like it's crazy and it's so refreshing to get a couple who makes my job so easy like mm-hmm. he literally would say you know what guys like at, at the end of the day it was more like just a meeting with a friend because he was like usually he would have to meet with couples separately to be like okay like i don't think you should do this or wait because it's crazy yeah but he would literally be like lord thank you (laughs) thank you yeah because and again we're not perfect but a lot of the things as well we already we yeah we've already spoke about years before right like from the beginning of our relationship we've been bringing up uh, finances we've been bringing up uh, kids kids and, yeah and, you know like family and, and all of that like even even our faith like because we already set that foundation our premarital counseling went um, like it, it was bliss mm-hmm. and I guess that's another thing that some couples don't do like they don't say everything about their you know their beliefs or you know like their standard and yeah. all that and when it comes to those topics mm-hmm. and then when they you know decide to go into premarital counseling or or don't do it at all it's all confusing when those things actually happen yeah right so that's another reason why we encourage you know talking about those those topics like, you know openly like you know about Absolutely. sex and and or uh parental um uh like uh decisions yeah. and all that like you know disciplining the kids all of that it's true it's it's really important even when you're three years behind like where you want it to be like like how we were mm-hmm. like, we pretty much prepared ourselves for that moment mentally yeah right? yeah because we've already we've always talked about wanting premarital counseling like mm-hmm. and and uh and like the backlash that we might receive like if we figure out some stuff that you know we don't like or we didn't expect mm-hmm. like we were mentally ready for that yeah 
right so so it caused us to like tell each other everything yeah exactly like everything and everything but again it was still good to like talk about everything with him because yeah. it's like you find out more things you're just like oh okay i need to fix this because even with me i can say like my biggest thing was communication mm. and we've already talked about that right but like to have like a third party see it and just like not like scold me about it and say like shannon you need to he would always be, he, he never did that yeah never he would say you know what um that's something that is gonna happen but like it's gonna it's gonna happen over time for you to work on and you guys have each other to work on it mm. he always he always was um like a couple based like there was always a couple based solution with him yeah. like everything he said he never said work on it yourself and like do this and do this he would always say that like, gave it your responsibility to make sure that she gets there yeah or shannon make sure you do this not make sure but like it's your responsibility to do such and such and such and such mm. just to not feel like the onus is always on gabriel or the onus is always on me or just like feel like i'm alone in my um in my journey right because there was like you know like a particular topic that um that he touched on that i personally had to work on because it was affecting uh shannon and first of all he was you know he was saying or like he was uh, affirming you saying that you know it's not it's not your fault mm -hmm. nor is it his mm -hmm. so that we so that he doesn't like you know cover it up like he was making it known that like this is an issue and it has to be fixed or you know we're praying about it and, yeah. and all that but not once that did was he make hard. us yeah <laughs> not once did he make us feel bad about it yeah so not to come on here and feel like oh we're perfect with this not every session was the greatest bliss mm -hmm. there was a lot of tears in the mm -hmm. sessions there was a lot of tears um that we just had to work through mm -hmm. it was very hard going from like being up here in a session like can't wait to go to when you get there it's just like oh oh no and then you start realizing mm -hmm. that you um like you know personally like you were you were hurting mm -hmm. your significant other or you you finally feel like you're you didn't actually do enough for this situation or whatever and that you need to do more yeah right so um you know that was that uh, but again just the fact that he was able to open our our eyes into like his perspective or or just that perspective at all to you know to like to understand that that situation the, yeah. the topic that we also appreciate as well that was so and important that's one thing that you can really only get from premarital counseling mm -hmm. right because when he was not up in our business to to you know like to gossip or to you know to go somewhere else or to like talk bad or to uh you know just to put us down or anything right he was genuinely yeah. there to help us and he was he was one-sided and it was for us mm -hmm. not either one of us yeah he right? was just yeah literally i like how you said that because basically like even when that situation did arise even to the point where he was concerned if the wedding would happen mm -hmm. like when i seen that concern on his face he was just like i that was like the proving factor for me to see like this guy is not just here for for a check or for like just he, to be here just to fill fill in his uh, calendar or the accolades of you know he, uh, the 118th couple that yeah I've ever done. no like he was literally genuinely there for us and, and he was praying and fasting oh my god hard. like it was that was emotional too to even know that we had someone like that on our side mm. and again meeting him on that zoom call was my first meeting of with him like i've seen him before mm. but like to actually meet him one-on-one -on -one, I literally felt like I knew the man my whole life. After the last session, it was so... It was bittersweet because I didn't want it to end. Mm. I really didn't, but it was so beneficial. So beneficial. I mean, like, all in all, like, premarital counseling or any counseling at all um, is 
it's a really good thing because it's someone that again like i'll repeat is for us Mm -hmm. right like there there could be some parents or like even if it's not like you know with a bad mind or whatever but um, like some parents will you know will give you advice that can be best for you right and you know vice versa because you're you know you're their child yeah right so um you know if something were to go wrong that's why you know they say that you know keep it in your family and all that because if you know you go to your to your family they're going to give you advice predominantly or like primary for you Mm -hmm. right and which could which could cause uh damage to you know the reparations that you're trying to do um you know with uh with your partner and all so having a counselor um like he's he's in the middle yeah no he's not biased yeah he's not biased he's not trying to push yeah. the other one away he's actually pulling mm-hmm. he's trying to pull um the two together if there was uh to ever be a problem right which is you know kind of like another main reason why we decided to 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 go for yeah for premarital counseling because we didn't have that kind of like you know like um uh, bias or like you know just that equal friend or a family member that would, would that would do that for us. Yeah. Um. So, again, like that, it's a big benefit, guys. It's a very big benefit. Um. And also post marital counseling, mm-hmm. of which um we're about to have our session mm-hmm. as well in a couple of weeks, mm-hmm. like our first one. Um. Basically, after three months, uh, from from the wedding, you do your you know your post marital counseling, and that's pretty much, um like not not even a wrap up but a check in yeah a check in and yeah. a new chapter right because you know 3 months into a marriage uh, a lot can change or a lot can be seen good yeah. or bad and again we would only have our understanding yeah. of what's going on um but when we share with uh, with a counselor again he opens up that that view and that perspective so that we can further understand and either fix things or continue to do those things yeah. or whatever it may seem so i'm like i'm excited, I'm excited for, for that too like i'm excited to just see him again but like i'm excited for that too because mm. we've to me it doesn't just stop there because not only be not because we've only been married for a short period of time it literally doesn't matter and i always mm. say this again but i think we were just talking about this recent like just even today like it doesn't matter how long you've been married post marital counseling doesn't just come after a wedding no it can come after years of being married mm. i believe a lot of people can benefit benefit from it like even now being married for 2 years 3 years 5 years 10 years 25 years it doesn't matter it's, I think it's really beneficial. Just a check-in because sometimes you can get lost in the sauce mm-hmm. of marriage. Lost in the sauce. Nice. <laughs> you can nice. literally get lost. Like, so many things can can happen. And in a world that we're living in right now with this quarantine, like... You, we, got, you got bills. You have... Um, what's it called? You have to balance, you know, your, your family and your relationship. You can have... Um, oh, what's it called? Um... Uh, preparing for you know like a pregnancy or a child or whatever and again if you don't check in yeah about yourselves mm-hmm. um it's it can be a train wreck yeah and it can just be like a thing like we were saying earlier about compromising right like just just settling just so okay like yeah my husband's here my wife's here and again i know like we've only been married for a short period of time but i i just, i believe in it so much that you do you need that check in you need you need that even accountability right. from somebody because things can go awry like we're in the middle of a pandemic like people are staying home in quarantine um communication every, may not be yeah, the best yeah like you might all. just be getting sick of the person seeing them every day or just like oh my god mm. but because there's no outlet for you to be like okay like let me find a way to like change things or let me find a way to like make things better or figure out why you're even feeling the way that you are yeah so i i'm excited for post-marital counseling i'm excited for it not to just be 
what we have upcoming but mm. for con- years years when we have children all of that I'm excited for it because I know that's another factor about having kids which I think we'll touch on next time but yeah, um, next yeah I just believe in this like I'm an advocate for premarital and postmarital mm-hmm. you need accountability because like Gabriel said like if it's with your family you're gonna get that one-sided bias opinion majority of the times not always but majority of the times you're gonna have someone else on your side right. when you need someone else on both of your sides mm. like there has to be a middle ground um yeah. yeah cause it can be selfish with one sided and then the next person feels left out and alone mm-hmm. so yeah there's um there's a bit of controversy surrounding it like why do I need it I don't need anyone telling me this and that and or no you don't or it's me me my wife and and I or, or, or God yeah um but no no you don't it's definitely you don't need it we just encourage it yeah we encourage it and um, plus God encourages it as well yeah you need you especially Christian um premarital counsel counseling because you can get premarital counseling like from anyone mm. but our counselor he came from a biblical perspective like he came from humbling yourself um loving your wife as Christ loves the church or what's the definition of love or what's your oh yeah like he, he would ask us that and those questions would like, usually be like I would be like um you know this and that but it literally was so beneficial and then he pulled out the big guns and said agape love yeah oh that was beautiful yes. right so those are some things that you might not hear from anyone other than a, a, a counselor that's coming from a biblical uh, background or or um, yeah just pretty much that because it's 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 biblical right it's biblical agape love is i feel like it's so important because when it opens up your eyes opens up you know doors for for things for yourself and and even your your family yeah so um i think sorry i think once you for a couple that's about to get married i think once you figure out or once you understand the love of god and the just the love that he gives then you would understand how to love your spouse Mm. because before that like you I can say I love you just because I you know like like, but until you know that real love there's no way you can tell me that you can love somebody else right so Mm. I just and like when he brought up those type of points too like we've talked about that as well but like when he brought those up and like kind of he broke everything down Mm. he brought um scriptures for everything he spoke about and it was so like eye-opening each time we went was eye-opening even when he talked about like the taboo what the church doesn't like to talk about the sex talk like he gave us a book Oh yeah, our book. Yeah, you gave us a book. Which is, uh, we should have uh, had it. Be like, <laughs> oh, yeah, like it's, it's right a there. it's a very good book. Yeah, because you're about to get married. Like, we can't. It's not all about sexual pleasure, guys. It's about intimacy. Yeah. You can figure out how to pay your bills through good sex. <laughs> what? I don't know. I just, yeah, I just thought of that, but. <laughs> Like it doesn't really make sense. <laughs> I can't <but> deal. <laughs> yeah, like, hey man, anything can happen when you're when you're pretty much like in in sync with with your yeah. partner. Like, good and great things can happen, and you know compatibility is is key. Right. So, um, yeah, like there um there are many many uh topics that he touched on that we'll talk about on on different episodes but for today that will be it all right these episodes are not going to be like super long or anything just you know like 
quick talks and, and all um, but like the video sus- subscribe like the video <laughs> subscribe like the video subscribe to our youtube channel uh comment down below what you want us to talk about yeah um, what do you guys want to see let's get interactive let's yeah. let's just talk about this because gabriel and i one thing you have to know about us is we love to talk love to, love to talk mm. i'm very shy like when it comes to other things but when it comes to talking to gabriel i can chat Mm. And we talk about everything. So, yeah. Let us know what you want us to discuss. Mm, pretty soon, we'll, we'll, we will be having, uh, you know, some guests over. Yeah, so, you know, we, we can share experiences mm-hmm. and and kind of get, you know, um, perspectives from, yeah. from other people and all. So, um, again. Because we're only shape, right? Yes. Like, this is our opinions on things. We don't want to be combative or anything like that but mm. we just want to have fun here and just hear the opinions of other people yeah, right and um, just pretty much fellowship with uh you know with our friends or with anybody that um would like to to jump in or you know share their experiences or um or uh, or their views mm-hmm. um but again uh shape tv is uh um we are all about positivity and um just non-controversial talks really so yes thank you guys for watching like the video comment subscribe to our youtube channel and uh even tell us which lights you guys want to see hmm? how about that today we're blue today we were blue uh <laughs> but yeah thank you for joining us again my name is gabe and i'm shannon and you have watched shape tv peace out